Future of Electric Vehicles, exploring why Tesla, BYD, and Rivian could outpace the competition. In 2023, concerns about demand, pricing, and elevated interest rates have reversed the narrative on the green tidal wave thesis, leading to a downturn in electric vehicles. A slice of year-to-date decliners includes Arrival down 84%, Canoe down 80%, Fisker down 77%, Blink Charging down 73%, Re Automotive down 63%, Polestar Automotive down 57%, Lucid Group down 31%, and NEO down 24%. However, the EV bellwether, Tesla, is up 126% year-to-date. Analysts like Tony Sakonahai from Bernstein are sounding a warning for 2024, citing concerns that delivery growth and margins may fall short of expectations. Piper Sandler recently pointed out that the electric vehicle sector might be more robust than perceived emphasizing the possibility of a few market share leaders garnering attention and consolidating the EV market. The company revised its electric vehicle sales forecast, aligning with the prevalent notion that electric vehicles are grappling with a perceived demand issue. While our new forecast does imply a modestly slower ramp between now and 2030, it's important to note that our long-term expectations are unchanged, reported Alexander Potter. Specifically, we still think the auto sector will eventually reach 100% EV penetration, and we disagree with the notion that EV demand is approaching exhaustion," he added. Piper Sandler's earlier electric vehicle projection anticipated a 33% penetration in the US, Europe, and China by 2025, with a subsequent increase to 67% by 2030. The company's updated forecast reduces those expectations by 600 to 700 basis points, indicating a 26% electric vehicle penetration in 2025, followed by 60% in 2030. Notably, the increasing electric vehicle penetration is a function of optimistic market share projections for specialized EV manufacturers such as Tesla, BYD Company, and Rivian Automotive. In the future, Piper Sandler anticipates the EV trio to account for approximately 25% of all vehicle sales in the US, China, and Europe. So, even if we expected 0% EV mix at all other brands, we would still be forecasting market-wide EV penetration of approximately 25% in 2030," noted Potter. Toyota is not expected to make significant strategic changes after gaining market share through the sale of budget-friendly hybrid vehicles. Facing a leveling off in electric vehicle penetration, Volkswagen is reported to have a considerable distance to cover in reaching its interim EV goals, 35% to 40% EVs by 2027, over 65% by 2030. General Motors, despite vocalizing its commitment to electric vehicles, including a pledge for 100% electrification by 2035, has faced underwhelming results thus far. The unprofitable Chevy Bolt remains the sole quasi-high-volume EV, while electric versions of the Equinox, Silverado, and Sierra are all experiencing delays. The real challenge with Ford is anticipated to be convincing Americans to forego gasoline-based icons like the F-150, Explorer, Expedition, Bronco, and Ranger. Piper Sandler is uncertain about the credibility of Honda's EV targets, considering the company's lack of communication in the electric vehicle sector. In Europe, Mercedes-Benz has announced plans to exclusively sell battery electric vehicles BEVs, by 2030 where regulations permit, but notably, the German automaker has not ruled out internal combustion engines. Although Nissan was an early pioneer in electric vehicles, the LEAF currently does not feature among the top 50 electric vehicles globally. Concerning Chinese automakers like NIO, Li Auto, and Xpeng, Piper highlighted a lack of evidence to indicate which of these companies can achieve sustainable success in developed automotive markets such as Western Europe or the United States. Wall Street's opinion on Tesla is divided, with 15 buy equivalent ratings, 21 hold equivalent ratings, and 6 sell equivalent ratings. Rivian Automotive receives a more favorable outlook, with 20 out of 26 ratings at buy equivalent or higher. BYD has limited coverage on Wall Street, but on Seeking Alpha, it holds a unanimous set of buy equivalent ratings.